Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a little um, pour on a canvas that I've just kept rehashing, redoing until I feel absolutely um, happy with it because it is going to be for me and my room. So the under paint under there was just um, the base of it was just a, a white with champagne gold smushed in. I forgot to hit the record button, but um, now I'm going down this kind of the center of the piece uh, with burnt umber, metallic copper, and I think I'm going to add some dark blue in for a pop of color in this. And I'm going to create something I'm creating it for myself. So I was undecided of uh, the style and technique that I want, actually wanted for this canvas. So I tried a few different styles and a few different techniques, so, as you will see in, in other videos in the next week or so. Um, but this one was the end result of all of my different um, experimenting to see what I really wanted. So this was the last one and the one that I loved and have kept. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So that was the navy going on there. And now I'm going to um, just literally do a swipe down the um, guts of this thing uh, after I've added a little bit, just a very little bit of a turquoise. I thought that might pop through. Didn't really need the turquoise in it for my colour scheme that I'm trying to achieve but I just thought yeah, I don't know let's see in case I ever add anything to the my room that's got turquoise in it and it's got a little bit in the paint so that's what I'm attempting to do so now I'm just going to put my that is Amsterdam black in the in that little container and it's just mixed with um, Australian Floetrol it's to give me a really nice lacy swipe and I'm going to just do it to the left and to the right. So always remember to give your um, thing that you swipe with a really good wipe off and keep it nice and clean. Then it's always good for many, many, many more other pores. What I'm trying to do here is soften up all my edges with just giving a little blow with the straw. Um, so it's just going along those very edges and it's a blowing a bit of the other colours out into that uh, creamy, uh, caramelly goodness out there so it's just softening up all of the edges for um, the piece that I will do through the center that's going to give it a really good pop so yeah just take your time enjoy the process and if you're getting a bit out of breath with um, blowing then make sure you step back for a bit and, and give yourself a um, few moments to recover or use a, a little the little blower like I've got one of those world's tiniest blowers for some reason it's not really blowing much of my paint around first little blower I did get used to do small blows like this is but the new one I've got sort of it's got no oomph it's got no oomph and it's it's not um, doing its job but I hope you like this kind of idea to soften the edges up but i think with what i'll be doing down the center it will definitely um, make it all pop
wow 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 super super happy with this it is really popping beautiful because of that real dark background in there and then bringing all those lovely metallic caramel colors back through um, it really is gorgeous so i'm really happy with this one and think this is going to look perfect um, in my bedroom where i want it so um, let the drying gods be with me and I'm pretty sure it's going to be perfectly fine. And then I'll, when it's, uh, give it a couple of weeks to probably dry uh, fully before I give it a varnish or even I might give this one a resin coat. But what do you guys think? Are you liking? Is it, um, you know, something that you'd like to do or you like anyway? <laughs> Uh, I'm getting miggled, miggled, miggled with my words here. I'm just going back in with that. Lit it's just an ordinary size balloon, but it has a little bit of water in it. I just find this gives it like a, a lovely final touch. It, it creates like a inner petal look on the inside of that bigger balloon kisses. Gives them more d dimension. And it's very subtle. The way the t uh, turquoise that I added is just you know coming through in in a few areas which is perfect for me it's um suits me fine well i hope you guys enjoyed this and wait on for the end results see it in um up on the wall and um yeah let me know if you enjoyed okay please take care uh, my lovelies and as i like to remind you if you're feeling sad lonely or depressed please ring a family member or a friend uh, or if not a helpline don't suffer in silence there is always someone there to give you a hand okay bye for now just decided to add a few little squiggly bits to pull a bit of that paint out into my um, caramelly colours. I don't know why I decided to do it. As you can see, I was stepping over my dog that never leaves my feet behind me. I'm just hoping I don't trip over one day. But um, yeah, I just decided to, you know, further soften it up with these little bits of um, squiggly bits that was a, a self-made sort of cut the bit of plastic in the, the teeth shape at the end and stuck it onto one of my old um, spatulas but um, I, I was really enjoying the process and I just think it softened it up a bit so wait on for the end results